What's up, everybody? Tim from LiveCaseBreak.com doing a personal box here of the brand new 16 Leaf Metal Tennis, and this is for Corey. Corey H. Power Filter in the room. Good luck, man. Coming off a heater run, good box of Trinity and a good box of 07 Ultimate. Hit a Ripken Auto out of eight. Let's see who his five are here. There's the empty box. Uh, Shui Zeng, very first auto. That is now numbered. Four doubles titles and a singles title. Nice. Uh, 30th overall. I did not realize she was that highly ranked. Marty Fish. Fastest serve at 232 kilometers per hour. Marty Fish. Uh... I say he was okay. I think he got up to seventh overall in the world in 2011. Didn't realize he was that. I would have guessed top 25, top 30 maybe. Marty Fish, Kevin Anderson, unnumbered South African, tenth overall in the world. Kevin Anderson, get out of here! I've never heard of him. Kevin Anderson, huh? Tenth overall. Must have won a couple tournaments recently. Maybe smaller on ones. Vince Spadea. That's a purple, and your last hit is a blue. Vince Spadea, 20 out of 25. He retired in 2011. Had a career since 93. Ranked 18th overall at his peak. Vince Spadea. That's out of 25 purple. And your last hit is an absolute legend. Out of 15, 1 out of 15, Martina Navratilova. Probably butchered that. Actually, I don't know. I think I got that pretty solid. Martina Navratilova. I remember we hit her auto in Q a couple times. I cannot remember if it was worth more or worth less than we thought. That's a nice one, though. 1 out of 15, blue. She is the only player in history to hold the world number one ranking in both singles and doubles competitions for over 200 weeks. That is mental. 18 Grand Slam titles, 31 Grand Slam doubles, and 10 Grand Slam mixed doubles. There you go. Got one of the legends, Corey. Let me add that to your stack of cards over there. You're going to have a nice little mail day from us. Good box, man. All right, do I have a fourth? Do I have a fourth for a Pop Century hit draft, guys? 35 a spot, one box, four cards. You guys draft them. Yeah, Charles definitely still had the worst box. And we are now three boxes into that case with nothing, no red auto, or no autos out of five, and no supers. Navratilova auto, Pop Century. I got to refresh my memory, see if she sells... Sells big or not? Oh, not Pop Century. Leaf. Let's see. Base Auto out of 25 went for 25 bucks. Leaf Metal Tennis out of 7 went for 49 bucks. Probably looking at 35 ish for that, Martina. Queens of the Court, 20 bucks. 18 bucks. Base from Leaf Ultimate Tennis 16, so sells okay. Okay. You say, why could they not get Navra Navratilova to sign on card? Like, what is she doing? Ah, uh, there's nobody in the queue for personals either, guys. So if anybody wants to uh, hop in, feel free. Uh, let me look. And Murray. 
Andy Murray's base are at auction. 20 bucks already. Seven bids. There's actually not a lot out there. I think Andy Murray's a big seller. There's a base auto posted for 93. I can't even find one, dude. Let me try Andy. There's a blue that just went up. Another, another blue that just went up. All of... I, yeah, I think his are actually worth a lot more. Wow, yeah, okay, here's some sold. Base auto's going 45 bucks. Uh, fastest serve out of 25, one ended for 38. 38, Daniel. His pink out of 10 went for 110 bucks. That same card you got, though, it's sold twice already for 80 and 50. That same exact card, the fastest serve. Gonna do the Pop Century, Corey? Alright, let's uh, get a link here. Custom orders. Alright, guys, there's the link for Pop Century. Um, first person to pay gets uh, to pick the box. We've got display or from this stack. So first person to get their payment in. I've got Daniel, Corey, Alex, and Charles, I believe. I see that. I'm fixing it right now, guys. Oh, Larry and his shenanigans. Okay. It's all set. Back in stock. Go ahead. Okay, and as promised, I'm putting Strata on sale to cost. Enjoy. $72.99 for the night for Strata. So if anybody stuck around for late night, you can get yourself a deal on some Strata boxes. I think Charles, it looks like Charles is the first one to get the payment in. That was quick. Charles, you beat out Corey by like 33 seconds. Let me get uh, a little random.org typed up here. Oh, actually, I already got this from earlier. Okay, Charles goes in first. Corey goes in second. Alex goes in third. And Daniel Sun goes in last. Daniel, <laughs> don't suck, he says. <laughs> don't suck.
Okay. Charles. Got the stack of pop here. You got seven boxes or display right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Which one you want? Okay, they are all showing. There we go. You can uh, relinquish your picking rights to somebody else if you'd like to. Number five. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five. Leave it upside down. Here we go. Good luck, guys. We'll random the draft order afterwards. <clears throat> Probably help if I, you know, put the camera down. Paul Macbeth. Bay, please, he says. Let me get, uh, let me get holders here set up. Okay, Paul Macbeth. The sport of dick disc golf. <laughs> this is the guy from Leaf Q that was selling, uh, it was either him or Ken that was selling crazy and everyone couldn't figure out why. Alright, Phil Lamar. Five out of ten sci fi signatures. Phil Lamar. He is from. He's been a voice to some of the most iconic properties and franchises. Animated films, TV shows, and video games. Metal Gear, Final Fantasy, Futurama, The Clone Wars, Justice League, The Avengers, and many more. Huh, cool. Phil Lamar. He's got a great voice. We've got a relic. Sarah Michelle Geller, Marquee Materials. Sarah Michelle Geller. Leaf guarantees that the wardrobe swatch on the front of this card is authentic, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. Okay. Marquee materials. And the last card is Jerry Ryan. Who, I... I don't know. I haven't even looked her up. We hit a ton of her at the National... We hit a couple of her 101s, we hit her red, we hit her pink, blue, purple, we hit literally every every single parallel. 23 out of 25, Jerry Ryan, star power chrome, right? Yep, chrome. Uh, Borg, 7 of 9, Star Trek Voyager. Veronica Cook on Boston Public, and she's a regular on the Star Trek convention circuit. Jerry Ryan, guys, um, I'm going to do the draft order for you, and then I'm going to look up value myself. I'm not part of the draft. I can't say anything. You guys got to look it up yourselves. Let's see who gets number one pick. Desktop region, where are you? Come on, man. There we go. All right, good luck. Um, let me roll some dice here. I suppose I should do that. One. Two, three, four, and five. <laughs> five times. Boy, those dice, they really served a purpose there. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Corey, number one pick. Charles, number two pick. Alex, number three pick. It didn't seem like a good box, but 
You gotta do your research. Alright, I'm gonna look up a couple of these just because uh, I wanna know. Jerry Ryan. Hmm. Alrighty then. Oh, uh, you guys got five minutes on the clock. Actually, three minutes. Sorry, not five minutes. The Macbeth is not numbered, just as base auto. Yep, just as base auto. Okay, Corey, got about a minute for number one pick, and then Charles, you follow him. Keep in mind, Corey is on a bit of a lag in the chat, so I'm going to give him a little bit of leeway here. There he is right there, going to take the Macbeth. Good selection. That's about a $50 to $60 auto. That actually was not a bad box, box at all. Good selection, Charles. That's about a $30 to $35 auto with the Jerry Ryan. Uh, Daniel, which one do you not want? The Phil Lamar or the Sarah Michelle Geller? Okay, the Macbeth goes to Corey. The Jerry Ryan goes to Charles. Charles. And Daniel's taking the relic. Alex, son. You got the Phil Lamar, bro. I'm going to put it over in your stack. You guys want to run that back? Yep. That's why I stopped myself from saying it earlier, because I was just about to say that same thing, that Macbeth is the one that sells crazy. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to say that. Ruin the integrity of the draft. But yeah, for some reason, man, those, uh, those disc golfers, they sell like crazy. Crazy. 